Thanks for the ride, Brian. Yeah, and thanks for the lecture on what real music is, Mr. Griffin. Jeez, how many Snickers could they eat in a five-minute car ride? Ah, crap, somebody left their gym bag. God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Where the hell'd they go? Oh, whoops. was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe Patty's body. Just a, a tiny waist, firm butt, great rack. She's in high school. I know, and she's in high school. It's like 7 a.m., dude. Calm down. Meg, hey, how's it going? Uh, hey, Brian. Cool, that's great to hear. Hey, where's Patty? Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably at her house. <laughs> You're hilarious, Meg. Hey, so, uh, what kind of movies do you and your friends like? Well, Ruth likes. Not her. Esther likes. Not her. I like. Patty, just Patty. Oh, she loves anything where a teenage girl is sick and dies of cancer. Or any movie where a character is named Patty. Oh, she loses her mind for that. Well, okay, Miss Chatterbox. You better get off to school. Oh, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. Oh, my God. I didn't expect to see you guys here. So teenagers know about the mall, too? Know what about the mall? Yeah, right? Boy, the day I'm having. I actually made one too many Build-A-Bears for the cancer kids. Only I could build a cure, huh? Aww. Hey, you know what, Patty? Why don't you take the extra one? Wow, thanks, Brian. Yeah, that's cool, Brian. Will you buy me a hat at Lids? No. You know, Patty, I've got seven fifty left on my Panda Express card. If you want to split a three-item combo, no drink. Sure. Well, then hop on board the Panda Express. <laughs> In bed, right? <laughs> like, like with the fortune cookies, you know. Uh, Brian, can I talk to you for a second? What the hell is going on? You're hitting on Patty, and it's gross. She's 18. Stop it. Me? Meg, I am not even going to dignify that with a mall erection. Don't, don't look down. Hey there, babe. Hey, Brian. You ready? Got the smash mouth queued up in the pre. Brian, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Patty. We're going to see a movie called Brittany Finds a Lump. You're parked in Mr. Tackleman's space. You're going on a date with Patty? I told you to back off. And since when do you wear high tops? What, my kicks? Ah, it's nothing. I just use these for Instagram. That's something I like. Ah, shut up, Esther. All right, we're out of here. Feel free to use the seat warmer. Keep that box hot. Somebody once told me the world... Wow, what a beautiful night. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if any of those stars are wishing on us, huh? You're so deep. I bet you you're pretty deep, too. Aw, you're so sweet. Why are you so nice to me? Most guys never give me the time of day because I'm so plain looking. Well, I'm not like most guys. I can see past that sweater. Speaking of which, why don't we get rid of that big old thing? Brian, stop! You don't have to do this, Patty. Brian's just taking advantage of you. What? That's crazy! What? Why would he do that? Because you have an amazing body. I do? But you're always saying dumpy girls like us only have each other. You're not dumpy. I was just saying that because I was worried you'd become popular and not want to be friends with us anymore. Meg, I'm $18 into this evening, so can you maybe just get out of here? Meg, that's silly. I'll always be your friend. You promise? Oh, come on! What the hell? Bummer. He's never gonna get to hit that. I know. That's exactly what I wished for. Well, I actually wished for it 30,000 years ago.